Welcome back. An advocate for disability rights, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez visited a Bronx Day Program Center for Adults with Disabilities today to discuss their needs. News 12's Cecilia Hua joins us from Castle Hill. If you could provide a salary, and don't be shy, <laughs> What would that be, do you think, for you? That was what Representative Ocasio-Cortez asked the staff at the Young Adult Institute Bronx Multi-Service Center. It's really critical that we recognize that all of our staff need to be compensated better, and the only way that they can do that is if the federal government and the state government increase the amount of funding for Medicaid services. Today, the Congresswoman visited the YAI Center, which offers group home support, social programs, and more to adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The main topic of discussion was how she could help increase funding for agencies like these. We teach the people that we support here to advocate for themselves. You know, this is one of our biggest things. We have rights and all these things. But you come home and you say, who's speaking for me? Most of the staff here at YAI make a minimum hourly wage, some of them having to work overtime or even pick up a second job just to make ends meet. When you go back home, you feel frustrated. You still feel stagnant. You feel you can uh, proceed in life because, because of the wage that you're forced to, to have. Funding from the federal level would mean better pay for staff and for agencies like YAI to hire more professionals. Them doing the overtime is meeting their needs in terms of them not being able to live on the one salary at a $15 an hour. And we're saying thank you for coming to fill the slot because we are not able to find qualified people. Representative Ocasio-Cortez vouching for these workers as she fights for increased Medicaid in the capital. From Castle Hill, Cecilia Hua, News 12. Cecilia, thank you.